In this lesson, we're going to be discussing um, solving differential equations by separation of variables. Um, just in general, though, the first example I'll do has uh, is just a very simple differential equation. And what it means to solve a differential equation effectively is just finding um, a function that satisfies the conditions given. So in this case, I've given two conditions. One is y prime is equal to 2x, and the other condition is that y of 0 is 3. Um, two things that I've done here uh, that I typically do not like to do, but I'm doing simply because it's something that you'll see a lot in uh, textbooks, uh, tests, IB tests, all that kind of stuff. Um, one is y prime. Uh, I've already explained why I don't like that, but it should be more explicitly written as dy dx, right, or the rate of change of y with respect to x. And the second thing is y of zero. You can think of that as some sort of, you know, function of 0 and 3, where y is effectively f of x, and we're searching for this function of x. Um, that said, the notations that I've given you here sometimes are used, so let's do it. Um, y prime is equal to 2x, and what I'm looking for is y itself, so I will anti-differentiate. So y must equal, effectively, um, the antiderivative Right? This one's very explicit, right? Um, x squared plus c. Now we see that if we plug 0 in for x, we get 3. So 3 is equal to 0 squared plus c. So 3 equals c. Therefore, um, our function is y is equal to x squared plus 3. So from these two conditions, I could figure out the exact function y equals x squared plus 3 that satisfies both of those conditions. Okay, obviously not all of them will be that simple. And the technique that we're going to use, what I just did there was effectively a simple antiderivative and then um, went in to find the constant of integration. We're going to be doing um, a separation of variables. And I will do an example for you. Say you are given dy dx equals x squared over y squared. And what we're going to do is separate the two variables. So we will um, multiply to get this equation. y squared dy equals x squared dx. And now, again, as long as we perform an operation on both sides, just like any other equation, uh, we uh, you know, it's fair to do the operation of both sides, so now we will integrate both sides um, respecting their variable of integration. So over here you get one-third y cubed plus c, um, and I'll call that one c sub 1, and here you get one-third x cubed plus c sub 2. Now I'm, I'm, I'm giving them two different values, c sub 1 and c sub 2. But if we were to collect them to one side of the equation, and I'll do that right now, I'll just call that thing C. So in other words, there was a constant here, there was a constant here, but if we just shove them all over, we get some constant on the way. Where I've defined big C to equal C sub 1 plus C sub 2. Okay, now from here, again, the goal is to find the function of x. So you can just solve, um, you'll get, if we multiply by 3, You'll get x cubed plus 3c, and then if you take the cube root, you get the cube root of x cubed plus 3c. And of course, it's a little silly to think of 3c as like 3 times some constant. You know, why not just say, um, plus c. Now I know I've changed my usage of c's, and technically what would be a good idea here is to you know, call this d or something, or k or whatever, um, that represents 3c, and remember c was there to represent c sub 1 and c sub 2, but the point here is that um, it's a constant. Okay, so that is the, um, that's the function y. Now, Let's say we also impose the following condition, that y of 0 is equal to 2. 
And because right now we found in general what we would say, we would call this a family of functions that satisfies the initial condition because this uh, constant would move our function um, in different ways. But if we know y0 equals 2, we can substitute 0 in here. So 2 equals cube root of 0 cubed plus c. So 2 equals the cube root of c. Um, like, uh, so anyway, uh, 8 is c. So now we get our function to simply be y equals cube root of x cubed plus 8. So this is the specific solution to the differential equation um, represented by that and that piece of information. So in other words, we found a function such that if you took the derivative of this, you would get this. And if you substitute 0 into it, you get 2. Okay, uh, let's do another you know. So in this, we'll employ a very similar technique. In this case, we're just going to solve for a general uh, or a family of solutions to the uh, differential equation, kind of like we did right there. Uh, we will multiply and get uh, 2y plus cos y dy equals 6x squared, kind of write it like that, 6x squared dx. We'll then integrate both sides. So that we've already separated our variables. If we integrate that, we get y squared plus sine of y plus c. And I'm just going to leave the plus c off until the end of the right side. And here we'll get 2x cubed plus c. OK, and at this point, you think to yourself, oh, well, in the last one, we were able to find y as an explicit function. Well, in this case, we're just able to find y as an implicit function. And that's not the end of the world. It just is what it is. Um, you know, we, we're not equipped to isolate y and find an explicit function. So there's that. Let's do another. prime is x squared y. So this, the, the previous two, hopefully you've had some kind of thought to yourself, but that was sort of like, well, in both of them, there were x's on top, y's in the bottom. It was kind of set up for you to just whoosh, multiply and be fine. The first thing is, I do not like seeing y prime. Um, Leibniz notation is much better, so I'm just going to replace y prime with dy dx. Secondly, I want these variables to be separable, right? So what I'm going to do is rephrase the problem in the following way. I'm going to call it x squared over 1 over y. So it's not, you don't have to do that, you know. Um, I'm just giving you one approach, multiply, multiply, okay? The other thing is you could just look back here and say, okay, I'm going to divide the y over and multiply the dx over. In either case, you get 1 over y dy, and you get x squared dx. Now we integrate. And here we'll get natural log of the absolute value of y is equal to x cubed over 3. And again, I'm going to throw my constant over to the right side. Now then, if we wanted to find y explicitly, what we would do is we would exponentiate both sides. 
So we would get the absolute value of y is equal to e to this whole power. And so then the absolute value of y is equal to e to that stuff times e to, to the c. And if we wanted then the uh, explicitly y value, we could say y is equal to plus or minus e to the x cubed over 3 times e to the c. And um, we would need more specific information if we were to go anywhere else, else with this. You know, for example, if we were told that the function evaluated at 0 is 12 or whatever, um, we, we could go forward and find what find the c value. But the major point here is with um, solving differential equations with separation of variables is you need to come up with some way, obviously, that you can separate variables. And once you've separated the variables, then it's just a matter of integrating. And if you're asked to find an explicit function for y, doing a little bit of algebra to make it explicitly phrased as y, or in some cases, simply saying, listen, I've separated my variables, I've integrated, I've come up with a function. Why, you know, why is implicitly defined, but that's good enough. Um, and then the further step again, just to recap, is we could find the C value or the constant of integration, um, but we can only do that with some other piece of information. Okay.